on November 27th, pitting former Department of Agriculture Secretary Mike Espy against a Republican incumbent Cindy Hyde Smith. It is a race where internal polls show Espy is within striking distance of Cindy Hyde Smith. 944,000 people voted on November 6th for the three candidates. Espy and Hyde Smith were the top two in that particular campaign. Uh, and you had more than 300,000 folks who actually voted for uh, Espy, putting him uh, in the top three. It is a battle for votes trying to replace that Cochran, of course, who retired due to health reasons. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Uh, as we transition into the holiday season, this is the time when people are starting thinking about giving and also sharing. And sometimes the best gift is when you actually present an opportunity to yourself. Give yourself your own gift. That's why our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created an investment opportunity for the everyday investor involving legal marijuana and crowdfunding. Now, we all, all know that legal marijuana has created one of the fastest growing industries in the country. Uh, no pun intended. Also know that crowdfunding makes it easy to be an early investor uh, of an opportunity. But it gets even better. What Transatlantic is doing is different and that is their business model is essentially buying the land that supports marijuana grow operations and leasing it to licensed high paying tenants. Now, what that means is you will be a landlord uh, of a licensed marijuana farm in a high growth market. Now, they're accepting, they're accepting investments for little as $300 up to $10,000 before the company goes public. Now, here's what's important. You must complete and confirm your application to participate. Again, complete your application uh, and confirm your application to participate. Now, you can spend all your holiday money on gifts, uh, but what if you get a return on your investment? You could also making you also could, could consider making an investment for somebody else, and that could be their gift. That's a hell of a holiday gift. Now, to get started, go to marijuanastock.org, marijuanastock.org, for you to get into the game. Now, back to your Roland Martin unfiltered video. Uh, and so earlier today, a pastors uh, had a rally here uh, in this ballroom where I'm at. We're going to show you some of that a little bit later. But here's some other details that's happening, news that came out today. This morning, Walmart announced that they wanted their money back. They had donated several thousand dollars to Cindy Hyde Smith's uh, campaign. But after the backlash from her public hanging comment, they said those comments are not consistent with the values of Walmart or its customers. They want their money back. In addition to some other companies, Union Pacific, Boston Science have also asked for their contributions to come back. In addition to that, uh, there's a new photo that's going online with Cindy Hyde Smith dressed in Confederate gear. Uh, this was shot in 2014. It was posted on Facebook, and this is what she said, quote, Mississippi history at its best. Well, the reality is if you're black, it was not its best when it comes to the Confederate. Uh, of course, you might remember Jefferson Davis was a United States Senator from Mississippi, uh, and uh, he uh, left the Senate uh, to become leader of the Confederate. Well, we call him America's greatest domestic terrorist, uh, but uh, Mississippi is very much in love with their Confederate history. In fact, Governor Phil Bryant declared April to be Confederate History Month. Yeah, and also this is the same state that continues to have the Confederate symbol in their state flag, on their state, on their state flag, the last state in the Union to do so. As I said earlier today, uh, more than 300 pastors were in this room uh, meeting uh, to show their support for Mike Espy and his campaign. They also got their marching orders in terms of what they wanted uh, them uh, to do. And so we're going to show you a couple of those videos. So first off, uh, let's go ahead and play that first video from earlier today, folks, at the pastors uh, meeting here in Jackson, Mississippi. You know that um, we're going to be debating tonight, God willing, in about five, six hours. Yeah, man. And that thing is strange because, you know, after the election, they didn't think that we would be in the running. You know they thought that this thing would be over. Yeah. Yeah. You know that they had all hotel rooms already booked out to go back to Washington. But you said with your prayers, yeah, with your votes and your support, you told them not so fast. Mississippi's got to change. change. We have no more time to wait. Yeah, man. We had someone to make these statements. And, and you know what they were. I'm not, I'm not going to repeat them. Yeah, man. Her statements went viral in the last five minutes after she said it. Everybody heard it. Yeah, man. They heard it at Jackson State about suppression. Yeah. 
They heard it at Rust. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. About the other school. They heard it at Alcorn. Mm. Is that the liberal college she talking about, Betty? I don't know. Everybody heard it. But also the corporations heard it. Mm. And the good folks of Mississippi of Goodwill heard it. Mm. And everybody knows that we don't want to go back. So tonight I'm going to be thinking about the veterans and the seniors and the students and those infirmed and those who, yeah, yeah. who just want to do it better and yeah. those who are not going back. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm going to think about somebody else. Mm. I'm going to be thinking about my mama. My, my, my. Now she is going to glory. Yeah, man. With my mama, I remember her. Mm. She taught me and my twin sister how to read mm. and a chalkboard in the kitchen. Because we couldn't go to a public school in Yazza City. And you know why. I'll be thinking about my mama. Who went downtown Yazza City to try on a dress. And all of a sudden, I told her, Willie Jean, if you, if you try it on, you got to buy it. Because those who come behind you, they may not want to try on what you just tried on. And I remember when she went to the shoe shop, rolling, and she said, I want to try on these shoes. And I said, well, Willie Jean, if you got to try them on, you got to buy them. Because they may not fit you and nobody's coming behind you. So I'm going to be thinking about Willie Jean. I'm going to be thinking about your mamas and your daddies. I'm going to be thinking about my matriarch, Fanny Lou Hamer. who fought and bled and died mm. in Ruville, Mississippi. Yeah, man. You know, when I decided to run back in March, back in March, I didn't know that which McCall was running. I didn't know who was running. But I decided to pay a visit to Ruville. And you know, she's uh, buried in Ruville, and she's got a big statue there. I'm talking about Fannie Lou. Yeah, man. And Roland, uh, we had a, 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 I was by myself. I didn't have drivers. I didn't have staff. Nobody but me. Yeah, man. And I went to her gravesite, and if you haven't been there lately, it's surrounded by a chain link fence. Yeah. And it was locked. Mm. I was surprised it was locked because it was a Saturday afternoon, but nobody was there. Yeah. And so I'm going to admit something to you tonight. I got a little screwdriver out of my, out of my car. <laughs> And I picked a lot because I wanted to be with her alone. And that, 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 that gate opened. And I closed it behind me, and I put some money in the collection box so they could fix the lock that I just broke. <laughs> I said, Betty Lou, this is Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. You're the one that ran for Congress in 1964. Know that you could not be elected. Yeah, man. But yet you had to be the load star. You had to be the signal. You had to be the person that people like me would come behind. Yeah, man. My Lord. I said, I want to do it again. I want to try to do it again. I need your strength. I need your prayer. I need your spirit. This thing is not easy. Yeah, man. We got 82 counties. Yeah, man. I mean, the second district is hard enough. There's 82 counties, and some of them have not welcomed me. Yeah, man. Yeah. I felt rolling a little twinge, a flicker of a spirit in my soul. And Fanny Lou said, go on and get it. Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. Go on and get it. 